The first time that a dog sees snow. Now, if you can get your clients to do that, the first time they see your product or service, then you know you've nailed it. <laughs> and he is absolutely loving having a good old roll around in this snow. The challenge for you is how do you get them that excited about seeing it for the first time? It's a good challenge to have. You see, when you've got a product or service and you haven't launched it yet, there are several things that you can do to get people excited about it. The first thing I would do is to look to my existing network first. Now that's really important because what a lot of businesses do is they create something, they launch it, they launch it out to the world. And if they don't get a great response, they think, oh, marketing doesn't work or the campaign, whatever it was that you did didn't work, whether it was Facebook advertising or you might have done some blogging or some video or some text marketing or some email marketing. And it's very easy to say, oh, well, that didn't work. Not going to do that again. But where I'd really start, first of all, is with the people that you already know and ask them to help you launch it. Um, you know, when we launched our book, The Seven Reasons Why Customers Don't Choose You, the first thing we did was get in contact with everybody that we knew and we gave them value. We offered them value in return for helping us to share it. And what happened was we got a huge response. The book went viral. We had over 1,100 downloads in less than eight hours and it shot to number one in Amazon. <clears throat> and we didn't use any other strategy other than asking our existing contacts to help us. So that is definitely a way that you're probably not using yet. And you know what, you might get some people that will ignore your request and you might even get some people that say no. Fortunately, we didn't have any of those. <laughs> However, if you do, then just thank them. Thank them. And then move on. <laughs>